Dragon. Welcome back to Toho Urban Legends in Limbo, where we're gonna play as obligatory pyro girl who hates people. Fujiwara no Moko. 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 <laughs> yes. Fujiwara. Um, so... I was kind of looking into this, and I'm not going to go too much into it because Brian's going to space out. Uh, their names <laughs> do seem to be based on um, specific, like, characters and lore. And that's why some of their names are so weird as references to those stories, but still, their names are very long. <laughs> <laughs> But why are the why are the names in the lore so so? I don't know. Long then. Because reasons. <laughs> anyway, Fujiwara's like, you're still going on about those goddamn balls. Va, I'll beat you up. <laughs> so she's annoyed, and yes, that's why <laughs> she's the obligatory leave me the fuck alone character. <laughs> Who also just likes beating people up. <laughs> the ending of her story is kind of funny, too. I enjoyed her story. Because she's just like, you know what? Fine. I guess I'll just go fight people. Because... I don't know. <laughs> she can just thing. go home. <laughs> yeah, this is her home, and then people keep showing up and fighting her. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> anyway, I usually like fire characters, so... I, I like her. Even though her hair is kind of weird because it bothers me. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Reimu, Brian. <laughs> What's Ray Reimu? This girl. The other girl. The one with the brown hair. Oh, the, that's, that's a Reimu. name! I thought you were using a wee word. I didn't no, know. <laughs> that's, that's the Shrine Maiden. <laughs> okay. Her outfit is based on Shrine Maiden outfits. But oh, more, did. more Lolita. <laughs> you know, gotta be more Desu. <laughs> Which I'm surprised, given Toho and their love of bonnets, I'm surprised at the lack of bonnets in this game. But maybe that's because it's a third-party game. <laughs> maybe the bonnets are, are under a specific trademark. <laughs> no, maybe they maybe they only picked characters who don't have bonnets, like intentionally. Like, Fuck, this Fuck shit. bonnets! We're not gonna do bonnets. I'm a them! <laughs> Which is fine because I hate bonnets. What the <laughs> fuck is this? 1682? <laughs> anyway, she's got a Phoenix kind of story. She's like, oh like, man. Get more balls. Actual Phoenix or. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is why she leaves because this particular ball feels different, so now she's trying to find a similar one. And this is when they start talking about how the balls are tied to specific locations. So now she's like, okay, I'm looking for a ball. I'm looking for a specific ball! <laughs> yes, we know this is Marisa, thank you. <laughs> she's like, what? You're going after balls? I'm going after balls, too! She's we like, well, what the balls fuck? Together. You're supposed to be a hermit. <laughs> but I, sure, I'll fight you, whatever. I like to just hurry up and die. I'm like, you know what? Same. <laughs> <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> I like angry characters who are just like, yeah, fuck you. We're gonna fight. Gee, I'm gonna I, I kick can't your imagine ass. why, Ariel. <laughs> you, what are you, you... saying, Brian? <laughs> I'm saying you're a very <laughs> angry person <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes sense! <laughs> I also like the smug characters, which is why I like Miko. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense too. <laughs> but, I like, again, I like Hata no Kokoro just because I like the idea of the changing mass and different emotions thing. I just like that concept. <laughs> <laughs> I change a lot of masks. I act very differently in different situations, so that resounds with me on a personal level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As do I. As do I think most people. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, but I, could ch I change back and forth very quickly. <laughs> 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 just 
She's like, you didn't need to kick my ass. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and she's like, um, I don't hold back. She's like, take the fucking ball. She's like, this one is not the one I wanted. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? What type of ball do you want? Like, I'm okay, trying to give you what not you all want. Of them are connected <laughs> to the places outside Jinsokyo. And the Kappa. He's like, what? You want to buy a ball? <laughs> and she's like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, okay, sure. I love customers. How much you gonna pay? She's like, I don't know. Not much. <laughs> she's like, well, fuck you. These are expensive. She's like, you know what? Cap is suffer when they run out of water. I'm just gonna burn up all of your fucking water! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to open a successful business. Please don't kill me. <laughs> she just jumps to such extreme. It's like that escalated quickly. She's like, I want to buy from you. And she's like, okay, sure. How much? And she's like, well, I don't know. Not something very expensive. Actually, I'm just gonna burn up all your water. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. I feel like I do that too. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Why would you do that? You, you can do that, or you can leave a bad Yelp review. Okay, not one, have one, of the cap is, one of the things in the cap story, I know we're not to her yet, but I just think it's funny, and since we're fine, or I'm gonna bring it up. Is she goes to uh, Miko's house, and her comment is like, hey, but this is the only person who actually gave me money. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if she wants more! <laughs> and Mononobe is like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> That's why, it's like, I don't like playing as the Kappa because she's just very fucking weird to play as. <clears throat> but, I just like, again, I like to want characters whose motivation have very little to do with the psychic girl. They're just doing their own shit. And now they have occult vaults in Urban Legends. They don't normally, <laughs> but now they do. <laughs> you know, it doesn't seem like it should work that way. <laughs> anyway, she's got fire wings now. I like fire wings. I mean, I like wings, and I like fire. Fire wings are cool. <laughs> she's like, wow, you didn't need to beat the shit out of me, Jesus. And she's like, man, this isn't even the ball I wanted either. <sighs> the cab is like, what the fuck? She's like, yeah. Just a random coincidence, I guess. Well, at least her pants are obnoxiously large enough to keep all the balls in. Yep. <laughs> She's like, alright, maybe not all of the occult balls are from the outside world. Hmm. <laughs> And okay, now she's convinced. She's like, alright, if I get all the occult balls, I guess I would die. <laughs> Kassen's like, what the fuck are you doing at the shrine now? <laughs> yeah, How many times do I have to tell people? And she's like, hey, you're the mountain hermit. I'm an immortal human. She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, but you gathered seven balls like a psychopath. And she's like, yeah, I do that. <laughs> so what happens when you get them all? And she's like, well, I guess I'll tell you. You're gonna end up in the outside world. <laughs> Is that well? Will people leave her alone in the outside? And she's like, world? and that's, that's where the, the enemy is, and we can't attack her because we're in the outside world, so we're trying to trick her into coming here so that we can beat her up. <laughs> Actually, she doesn't say all of that. She's like, well, you know what? I haven't been there in a couple thousand years. She's like, all right, I'm gonna have to test you to see if you'll be safe out there. Or no, that's different. That's another character, I think. This is. I'm gonna beat you up and take the ball so that you don't get sent to the outside world. <laughs> Did she try just asking for them? <laughs> no, you have to exchange them by fighting. That has been established. What? 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 what why? Because <sighs> fucking fighting game logic. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> That's why, like, or er, um, Miko's story just started with her beating up her subordinate to get all the balls she had because you can't just ask for them, so I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, wait, no. <laughs> and 
it's like, alright, you know, I guess you guys do beat each other up just because it's Tuesday, so... <laughs> Using spell cards. Also, I did notice that when they use spell cards, some of them actually do hold out a card, and I like, I appreciate that. Because it's time to do- <laughs> Oh, I think I've missed- Oh no, I haven't yet. I think the line is when we get to the outside world. I think Brian will appreciate this line. Hassan, <laughs> stop with your orbs! <laughs> <laughs> and... So like, are the orbs just absorbed into your person then? <laughs> Whenever... I mean, Cause yeah, you can only exchange of... them by, by fighting, but... I mean, they, they kind of just show up and get stuck to them, but they're not like, um, part of them. I don't think. Okay, so they're just like <laughs> stuck to your leg, you can't get it off type thing, or <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I mean no, because they can like hold them and shit. And um what's her name? I forgot her name already. Uh the Buddhisty girl. Tried to put them in a statue. Um, so yeah. she was able to separate from them temporarily. <laughs> But then she got one back, and that's when she was like, oh no. <laughs> Just can't, can't give them to people. Nope. <laughs> she put them in a statue, and then the statue was sent to the outside world. That was the one where I was like, okay, but this would be a lot more effective as a storytelling device if she was before the others. <laughs> yeah. Because we already knew that it went to the outside world. <laughs> as, I, as I mentioned when we recorded her run. Anyway, fire! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fire. I feel like that applies <laughs> in a lot of different situations. Okay, so when my cousins and I were kids, we had this, like, Magical Girl game we played. And it wasn't really Magical Girls. It was, like, um, it was more like the witch books, I guess, which is sort of Magical Girl. I don't know. But I was the fire one. So, I have an affiliation with fire. <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> and I guess I am a firebender too, so there's that. <laughs> did you like take a test or something, or did you just decide that you're a firebender? <laughs> well, I think it's, I did do a test, and then based on personality, because I'm, oh. I'm, I'm the assholes from basically everything. I'm a Slytherin, I'm a vampire, <laughs> I'm a high elf, I'm a firebender. <laughs> it's like, okay, sure. She's like, okay, well, I guess you'll be fine. <laughs> you're, you're pretty tough. She's like, yeah, because I'm really fucking old. <laughs> She's like, okay, well, uh, have fun then, I guess. <laughs> She's like, man, I, oh, to... this it's Shaba, apparently. Is where. <laughs> and she's like, wow, it almost makes me want to live again. She's like, wow, that's dark. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, holy shit, this is not how it was when I last saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's very different. It's weird how much changes in a couple thousand years. I mean, 8,000 years. <laughs> and she's like, wow, look, I caught another one. Yo, wouldn't it be cool, though, if she had her flame wings all the time? Yes. And she's seems like, to I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. And the psychic's like... Wow, I keep getting all these belligerent people. <laughs> how about yeah. how about we don't do that and I she's just go like, home? <laughs> she's like she told me I can't burn the entire city down, but you're pissing me off, so maybe I will anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "Uh, that's rude." She's like, "I live the stifling life of a high school student in a problematic modern society." <laughs> Like, okay, we'll go write a Tumblr post about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I wonder what uh, this fire lady would do if she saw Tumblr. 
<laughs> I don't know, because I don't Try. think the concept of the internet even exists in Gensokyo. I'm not oh. sure. They definitely oh, get confused by the concept of phones later, so... <laughs> <laughs> what? Was she just sleeping? <laughs> what? That's some shit! Who? Oh. Like, they don't understand modern technology and shit. Yeah, they have a barrier between them and the outside world that oh, the right, yes. are trying to break. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah. Sorry, O'Brien yeah, doesn't do I know, but you think you remember it when it's, when it's brought up in, like, every character's story. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? I'm, I'm trying. It's a little difficult. That's, and you know what? That's the sad part. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> anyway, she also throws fire I've wings been fucking recording her. shit for half this fucking part, and even I know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's impressive, but it's so rude. <laughs> In my defense, my sinuses are clogging up my ears every Oh, boo-hoo, Brian! <laughs> your sinuses are clogging up your ears. Welcome to my goddamn life. Well, I can't hear a lot of the Welcome things! Welcome to my life. <laughs> Seriously, now my ears are acting up because you made me think about them. I'm sorry, Ariel. It's uh, not my fucking fault. <laughs> Blame Sarah, she gave me this damn call. <laughs> well, hopefully by this time next week, I'll be able to breathe. Actually, no, by this time two weeks from now, I'll be able to breathe. I need, I need to do a lot of time for recovery from surgery. <laughs> Yo, same. <laughs> Anyway, I, th I think I'm doing pretty good with, uh, Fujikawa. Fujikawa. Fuji... Fujiwara. Fujiwara. Five. <laughs> I got it, okay? I wanted to say Kawa. Kawa is river, okay? She's the fire one! That makes no sense! <laughs> yeah? Well, too bad! I also had a problem when we were watching Avatar where I kept wanting to call Zuko Zoku. Because that was a more familiar because pattern. Goku. Yeah, it took me forever to be able to save Zuko. <laughs> and some people might be like, why? And I was like, I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not that hard. <laughs> I just want to say Zoku, right? <laughs> it's a more. To be fair, I do have some dislike. This is my original character, Zoku. He's a uh, super duper legendary Super Saiyan uh, 27. Okay, but Goku's <laughs> name should have a Z in it because it's Dragon Ball Z. Um, it's called Dragon Ball Z because they they are the Z fighters. I don't care. Just I Goku. mean, didn't they become the Z fighters <laughs> after like it was named Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> I mean, they had Dragon Ball and with a lot of the same characters, and then Dragon Ball Z because Z sounds cool. I'm pretty sure that's the only reason. Well, that's part of the reason, but then it's also Z because they're the Z fighters. That's where they oh, got the did idea I... from. Okay, I know I sent okay. Brian this picture, but there's a there's a place near my house. It's a hair salon, and was it called Hair Hair Frenzy? And I was like, you know, I it's the four kids version of Dragon Ball is a really weird name. <laughs> Makes me feel better. I was gonna link it. I was thinking of actually saying that wasn't funny at all. <laughs> but it's well, fucking hair frenzy. Okay, I mean, I was I was waiting for you to link it again. <laughs> I don't have it at the moment. All right. <clears throat> anyway, this ending, this little ending, is actually kind of funny because Miss Angry all the time has this like. Wow, I really enjoy fighting you. It's like, this is amazing. And Psychic Girl's like, yeah, this is pretty cool. And she's like, okay, <laughs> but I gotta go now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man, I, I wanted to play with your fire. She's like, more, this was fun. <laughs> and Psychic Girl's like, well, this took a turn for the passionate <laughs> like a comic book. And she's like, next time we meet, let's go all out. Wait, did they <laughs> actually say comic book? Yes. We'll enjoy the fear of a painful death. 
She's like, wait, you're going already? And she's like, she's like, yeah, I just fucking told you. <laughs> she's like, come to Chensokyo sometime. So I can beat the shit out of you and we can enjoy it. <laughs> she's like, I didn't even get her like, name. You know what, Errol, that's <laughs> the other character. I'm oh. Gaia too. She gets off on pain. Okay, no, oh. I just like this line here. It's like, for some reason, this came into a heartfelt goodbye for, for Fuji wa Wara. <laughs> are, are these, like, Starcross fires or something? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what they actually finished it with. <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> that's why it's like, I like her ending because it's just out of nowhere. She's like, wow, I had a lot of fun fighting you. Next time, you should come visit me so I can kill you. <laughs> It'll be Won't great. that be fun? <laughs> we'll enjoy the fear of a painful death. <laughs> it's like, excuse me, what? <laughs> that doesn't sound fun to me at all. I actually. <sighs> but yeah, look at this beautiful city. Apparently, it was at one point called Shaba. Probably not anymore. Probably a thousand years ago. How often do Japanese areas change names? I, don't, I was gonna say, like, a lot of things keep the same name for a while. I would say. Not a thousand years, maybe, but definitely a couple centuries. I love how they show the same credit section! <laughs> Every time! <laughs> hey, I like the music, though. It's, it's like a good... It's like a good unwind. It's like, wow, check out this music. We can do some hardcore, like, like dancing. It's got some kind of fiddling going on. Anyway, next time, uh, tune in where we play as the goddamn Inchlane. So, um, <laughs> that'll be fun!